This video provides a brief introduction on how to use the JTC3 sleeve insertion tool for assembling the Super 300 type pillar fitting P series end connections. The JTC3 tool consists of three subcomponents. The JTC3 package includes holders for tubes and sleeves for various sizes. For any particular size, the technician would need to prepare a corresponding size of the sleeve, tube, fitting, and the spanner for tightening the union nut. Now we will explain how to assemble the Super 300 type pillar fitting. First, attach the sleeve holder to the insertion tool. Next, place the sleeve over the sleeve holder. Check to make sure that the sleeve is firmly in place. The diameter expansion ring is located at the tip of the sleeve holder. It is important to push the diameter expansion far back of the sleeve holder until it is secured and not loose. Next, position a tube into the tube holder and secure the clamp on the insertion tool. The tube holder has markings that indicate the tube size. Make sure that the tube holder is facing the right direction for the size of tube you are using. Here, the number 6 is marked on the tube holder. This is where the tube holder is set to use a 6 mm wide tube. For an 8 mm wide tube, flip the holder over and locate the number 8. This is where the tube holder is set to insert the fitting into an 8 mm wide tube. This is the minimum length of the tube in the insertion. Be sure to position the tube according to the minimum length guideline. Make sure that the other side of the tube has the union nut placed on the tube. To lock the tube in place, slide the insertion tool shaft until the leading edge of the diameter expansion ring is 1 to 3 millimeters inside the end of the tube. Then, squeeze the lever to move the sleeve holder forward. The sleeve is fully inserted when the tube reaches the stopper on the sleeve. There may be a gap between the edge of the tube and of the sleeve, as shown here. As long as at least half of the sleeve is inserted into the tube, there should not be a problem. Now the tube with an inserted sleeve can be assembled into the fitting and tighten the union nut. Tighten the union nut by hand as much as possible before tightening it with a correct size wrench until an audible click is heard from the gauge ring on the fitting. This sound indicates that the union nut is sufficiently tightened. To disassemble the fitting, first fully detach the union nut from the fitting. Turn the tube in a circular motion until it can be pulled out of the fitting.